On behalf of the local public sector alliance, I would like to thank today's moderator as well as panelists for their willingness to be part of the webinar. Now, without further ado, let me pass the floor to Juan Luis Gomez, who's a principal fiscal specialist at the Inter-American Development Bank. He will be our moderator today. Juan Luis, floor is yours. Well, thank you very much, Sardar, and, and very good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Luis Gomez, and I serve as the Inter-American Development Bank Principal Fiscal Specialist for Argentina, Chile, and, and Uruguay. I have also recently served uh, in the same position for Ecuador and, and Bolivia and, and in a former life as well for the Asian Development Bank. So it's a pleasure uh, to see so many uh, colleagues, uh, friends, and, and uh, counterparts in, in this um, webinar today. Uh, allow me to first thank the Local Public Sector Alliance, all the organizers, uh, for the kind uh, invitation uh, to the uh, webinar today and, and to its moderation. The Latin American and Caribbean region, as many of you know, is a very interesting mix when it comes to decentralization reforms. And I'm sure the experiences and lessons learned uh, from that experience will be particularly enriching to all the participants uh, today. Um, as you all know, and I'm preaching here to the to the converted, and and, and the topic deserves uh, very little motivation. Uh, decentralization is is a worldwide uh, reform uh, uh, issue, but I'd like to perhaps underline uh, a couple of uh, maybe three reasons uh, uh, that, in my point of view, make the topic even more relevant nowadays. First of all. Uh, the recent challenges brought about by the COVID uh, pandemic, which have underlined uh, the importance of the local and regional responses to an emergency situation such as the one that we continue to, to live in, in many of the countries in, in the region. Um, and, and it has shown us actually that decentralized countries with good intergovernmental coordinations uh, can actually provide an adequate and more efficient uh, response to this kind of global uh, challenges. Um, second, uh, the second uh, reason why I think the topic of decentralization and local government reforms uh, continues to be even, even more uh, important is the persistence in our region as well of large inter-country uh, disparities, inequalities, which underline the, the, the role of local governments in the provision of comparable levels of public service in the region and are the motivation behind uh, some of the uh, recent uh, reforms in, as we will see during the during the panel today. And third, and, and of course there are more reasons uh, for which the topic is important, but I would like to mention also uh, the importance of, the, of an adequate efficient response to the climate change challenge, where local governments play an, uh, an important and, and increasingly important role in the development of execution of adaptation and mitigation uh, strategies for climate change. Before we jump into uh, the substance of today's uh, conversation, I, I have been instructed to make a few uh, housekeeping announcements. First of all, I, I want to make you aware that some simultaneous uh, interpretation of today's session is available in, in Spanish and, and from Spanish to English. If you would like to follow uh, today's webinar in Spanish, please click uh, on the language options link at the bottom of the screen and, and select uh, Spanish or English as, as you need. Second, I uh, want to let everyone know that this event is being recorded. A video highlights from the webinar series will be made available in a few days on decentralization.net. And it should be noted that all the presenters and panelists are speaking in their personal capacity. Third, the webinar version of Zoom allows uh, participants to ask questions using the Q&A feature. So if you have any questions for any of the panelists, uh, please use this feature. And at the end of the, um, uh, of the session, I will select and assign the questions that have been posed to the panelists uh, for their response. And finally, we have a lot of exciting content to cover over the next uh, 90 minutes. Uh, and in order to use the time more efficiently, I'm going to exercise the powers that have invested upon me as, uh, as a moderator and request that all the panelists use uh, 20 minutes for their presentations. I have reviewed the presentation earlier, and I think it's, it's perfectly possible so that we have sufficient time for uh, the reactions of our commentator and then for questions and, and answers. I, I will be... Uh, 
uh, given a five minutes uh, um, notice to the, to the panelists uh, so that they know that they need to be concluding their presentations um, five minutes before the, the time is, uh, is met. Now, today is uh, about today's uh, topic, as, as you know, uh, the Latin American and, and uh, Caribbean region holds, uh, as I mentioned, an important mix from the federal countries such as Argentina, Brazil, or Mexico, and countries uh, that are in, in far more initial stages of, of decentralization, such as Chile, where reforms are accelerating, as we will see uh, today. And, and the region presents also cross-cutting, despite this uh, variety and experiences, there are some general cross-cutting issues, uh, as my colleague Axel Radic uh, was able to present uh, yesterday uh, with regard to well, excessive reliance on fiscal transfers, um, relatively limited local revenue, autonomy, uh, and uh, equalization transfers that are not largely based on um, fiscal gap uh, approach. Um, we will see some of these uh, challenges and how they're addressed by the different countries. Allow me then to just finally introduce uh, today's presenters and, and discussants in, in the order in which they will contribute uh, to the webinar today. Um, we will uh, welcome now, of course, uh, Guillermo Piñones, uh, who is the head of the Policy and Studies Division of the Undersecretariat of Regional Development of the Ministry of Interior in Chile. Uh, good morning, Guillermo. Uh, previously, uh, Guillermo worked at UNDP Chile and the National Irrigation Commission of the Ministry of Agriculture in Chile, and as a lecturer at the University of Chile. He is a civil engineer and holds a master's degree in public policy at the University of Chile and a uh, Master of Science in Global Urban Development and Planning of the University of Manchester in, in UK. The case of Colombia will, will come uh, next, uh, and uh, we welcome also Daniel Escobar, who is the Director of the Decentralization Mission, uh, former Director as well of Fiscal Studies of the Colombian Association of Capital Cities, former Secretary of Finance of Medellin, former Director of Taxes of Medellin, and has uh, extensive experience as a consultant in different territorial entities. Um, he's a lawyer, Daniel, specializing on tax legislation with studies in international taxation at the Maastricht University. And uh, he's also a professor on public finance issues at different universities. Uh, welcome, Daniel, as well. Uh, the Colombia presentation as well has been prepared ex aequo with Carolina Rosso, uh, who is the Director of Decentralization and Fiscal Strengthening of the National Planning Department. And third, uh, Juan Pichiwa, uh, Director of Fiscal Decentralization Policy of the General Director of, of Macroeconomics, Policy and Fiscal Decentralization of the Ministry of Economy and Finance of Peru. Uh, welcome, Juan, as well. Uh, Juan is an economist from the National Agrarian University. Uh, he has also been a principal professor in the Department of Economics there for 40 years, a master's in economics from Ilades, Georgetown, and in agricultural economics as well from La Molina. Juan has extensive experience of more than three decades in different positions in the Vice Ministry of Economy, both as an advisor, as general director, uh, and among others, he has been the coordinator of the Household Targeting System and Comprehensive Health Insurance, has been a consultant to the Inter-American Development Bank, the World Bank, USAID, uh, on issues of health and, and poverty policies, one will present experience in, in Peru. Uh, once the uh, panelists have finalized the presentation, uh, we will ask Jorge Martinez Vázquez uh, to uh, provide a, a reaction. Uh, Jorge um, is well known by everyone, Professor Emeritus at the Georgia State University. He is also the founding director of the International Center for Public Policy and the director of the Cluster of Public Finance Centers, including the Center for State and Local Finance, the Fiscal Research Center, and the International Center for Public Policy. Uh, which I had the pleasure also to serve in the past. His professional memberships include the American Economic Association, the National Tax Association, the International Institute of Public Finance, the Southern Economic Association, and Rede of the University of Vigo in Spain. Very, uh, very, uh, we very much appreciate everyone joining us today. Uh, thank you to the presenters and, and discussers in advance. And with all that, allow me to invite uh, Guillermo Piñones, uh, to share with us the, the recent Chilean experience in reforming local governments. Uh, Guillermo, please, the floor is yours. Uh, you have 20 minutes. Thank you very much. 